Hi everyone and welcome to Hockey Demi. Hockey Demi, Horizon Sky Academy, is a part of Horizon Sky Group, having 20 years experience in completing more than thousand projects globally in various sectors like residential, commercial, pharmas, industries, institutional, industrial, then different types of power sectors and many more. This certification course, PPM, Professional in Project Management. will take you to a journey at both head office as well as site in different mega projects where we will see a various number of parameters terminologies and job roles of all the people involved in these projects this course is very useful for freshers as well as project executives and managers who want to upgrade or who want to move to the further ladders in the hierarchy in different project management or mega scale projects in a different corporate site contractor or consultant offices in this project we will go through different sub courses where we will see the different parts of any kind of mega projects what are the roles and responsibilities of all the people involved how to actually execute a project on site we will also see the bar charts for a couple of projects and many more things now we will go through each and every sub course individually just to give you a glimpse of what this course comprises of the first sub course is about uh, types of projects as we all know according to the purpose of the building there are various types of projects like residential infrastructural institutional commercial or industrial we will go through all type of parameters in this course to understand the types of projects in this course mega project teams and roles we will go through the different types of teams that are involved in any kind of mega project now as you can see there are different types of teams like the client team engineering design team the architecture team contractors team various kinds of suppliers all of these people work together in order to complete any kind of project In this course we will see in great detail that what are the roles of all the people involved in all these different teams for example if we have a civil engineer in a client's team or a contractor's team they both are civil engineer but their roles will be very different in a project so we'll see all of these aspects from a mega project point of view then the next sub course of design startup steps uh these Uh, sub course includes the design steps or designing process for the project from very starting like uh, uh, first of all client's requirement then uh, we have a feasibility study before starting the project designing then project designing stage stages like uh, uh, master planning of the campus master planning of the services then architectural planning of the buildings and so on so we will learn about the uh, each and every parameters for designing steps then we will discuss about the various documents required before uh, before starting the project or at the stage of designing then we have a architectural and civil documentation which are required uh, before starting the project so we will discuss about all these document types and documents in detail in this sub course then we have a rds uh, formats for the projects rds is basically room data sheet uh, which is required to uh, to be filled by the client uh, to give us the uh, idea for the project or the type of project uh, so that we can design the efficiency of all the areas uh, in detail so we will discuss about the rds in detail in this sub course then next we have our project report dpr the detailed project report cob the cost of the project feasibility and capex the capital expenditure in this course we will see in detail about the different types of aspects that we just mentioned what are the feasibility studies and market aspects So before starting any kind of project let's take an example of an industry it is very necessary for us to see 
whether this project would actually be fruitful or not from financial point of view whether the site selection is proper or not and most importantly are we able to finance this project by different means so we'll do the feasibility studies different types of market aspects we will see them then we will also discuss what are the points involved in these studies we will see practical examples of a dpr a detailed project report we will go through samples of them all of our courses will have a practical example or a document that is actually used by us in some of our projects then we will go through these of course cpm or cec tender boq and bu courses basically these course includes the costing and estimation and tendering part of the project so in this uh, sub course we will learn about how to prepare the tender document how to prepare estimates in detail uh, how to take measurements as well as the special terms and uh, general terms of contract then the specifications of the item so we will learn about the bidding process entire bidding process in this sub course next we have our purchase management and cfm the cash flow management now in this course we will go in detail about the different types of topics revolving around the purchase team their responsibilities also we will go through a couple of practical examples for a cash flow management sheet basically what is cash flow so the input and output of money in a project any at any point of time is maintained by a cash flow management sheet so we will study how it is prepared how is it maintained what is its importance we will see the different types of agreements and purchase orders so the purchase team is responsible for purchasing the different types of equipments materials then providing them at necessary stages in a project whenever necessary to optimize the project cost as well as to see after that the project is completed in time so we'll study all these different aspects from a practical standpoint in this course in detail so the next uh, sub course is of uh, for uh, statutory approvals of the projects we all know that before starting the project uh, during the execution of the project and after completion of the project we need several statutory approvals uh, from the concerned authorities so in this course we will learn about the uh, approvals required for project uh, from which authority we have to take these approvals and details required for these approvals in detail for particular projects so as you can see here we have uh, the uh, so we have mentioned some of the approvals authority department and details on your screen next we have our project management reports and formats at site now there are a lot of different reports and formats that are involved at a site at any point in time they can be from civil engineering point of view these reports can be for maintenance of our mechanical equipment different types of utility services so we will go through the different types of reports in a generalized format as well as a standard format we will see all these formats at site what is their usage how are they used when and where are they used we will go in detail about different types of reports that are used at even at the start of the project during the project and after the execution of project so we will divide them in different stages we will see site store formats so if we want to set up a store facility at a site then there are different types of formats for example there is a reconciliation sheet or joint measurement sheet then we will have different types of formats like bar charts the daily progress report meetings of minute uh, minutes of meetings then uh, measurement bills final bill the completion certificate this is just a list of general formats we are going to discuss a lot more of the formats and reports in great detail then we will learn about the construction project management at site this is basically this of course of construction project management at site uh, includes the construction activities uh, during the project execution at site 
लाइक एरिया ग्रेडिंग लाइन आउट देन एक्सकेवेशन एक्टिविटी देन फाउंडेशन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फाउंडेशन देन वी हैव अ प्लेन एरिया कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटीज देन फिनिशिंग एक्टिविटीज लाइक प्लास्टरिंग फ्लोरिंग एक्सेट्रा देन वी हैव ए इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एक्टिविटीज लाइक रोड चैम्बर्स एज वेल एज दी लैंडस्केपिंग देन एरिया लेवलिंग एंड ग्रेडिंग बाउंड्री वॉल्स एक्सेट्रा वी विल सी ईच एंड एवरी एक्टिविटी ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन इन डिटेल इन दिस कोर्स इन दिस कोर्स स्टोर एंड मटीरियल मैनेजमेंट एट साइट वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आर टू बी कैप्ट इन माइंड फॉर मैनेजिंग द स्टोरेज फैसिलिटी एट अ साइट नाउ वॉट इज द स्टोरेज मैनेजमेंट फॉर अ साइट सो इट विल बेसिकली कंप्राइज ऑफ ऑल द मटीरियल दैट आर गोइंग इन एंड आउट फ्रॉम अ प्रोजेक्ट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सिविल मटीरियल्स सिविल इंजीनियरिंग मटीरियल्स सो वॉट विल बी द मटीरियल्स मेनली इट विल बी सीमेंट एंड स्टील then we will have our bricks for example mortars aggregates then different types of finished materials for plastering raw materials then tiles flooring etc so all of these materials cannot be brought to site only when the execution is needed they have to be stored at the site to be used when and whenever in order to complete the project on time so we will keep in mind that how this storage facilities actually work so the client let's say the cement is provided by client and the contractor needs it so the contractor takes x amounts of bags and they have to reconcile with the client side so both that data should be matched now there is an entire uh, let's say store requisition slip or reconciliation formats so all of these formats are discussed wherein the different types of material storages are discussed they can be of general formats site store formats etc erection testing and commissioning this was the material part let's say we are talking about an equipment so for an equipment its erection the testing and finally the commissioning of the equipment for all these things there are different types of formats and reports that are needed so these are also discussed in the site and finally we will have our entry gate registers and formats now there are a couple types of storages which are indoor storages as well as outdoor storages we will discuss what these two terms mean in detail inside the course project scheduling and bar chart sub course in the sub course we will discuss about the pharma industry bar chart scheduling bar chart scheduling is required to complete the project uh, in time and uh, to manage the activities in their flow so here we will discuss about the bar chart uh, in detail for project activities uh, the preceder activities uh, afterward activities as well as the starting date of the project uh, material requirement before the starting of the activities and uh, manpower requirement uh, uh, before starting the activities uh, agency mobilization as well as the uh, cfm or uh, cash flow management uh, to be uh, required for the uh, activity as well as the completion date of the project is course okay. this was just a glimpse inside our entire certification course the professional in project management ppm by joining this course as you saw you will be able to discuss and learn very large variety of topics which will cover all the different aspects from a practical standpoint on any kind of project at site as well as from theory point of view join hockey demi and become a hockey demi certified engineer in professional project management thank you hockey demi shaping professionals for a better future hockey demi is aiming to be the world's largest learning platform for engineers and architects